Do you want to know how to make money on Fiverr as a seller and how to become successful and potentially earn really big money here? Then this video is for you. My name is Michael and many viewers here on my channel have asked me about how to get a lot of freelance jobs online and specifically how to become successful on Fiverr, which is one of the biggest and most popular freelance platforms, which means there are also more job opportunities. So therefore I decided to record this video here where I will explain about the right approach to doing this. So you do it with the right expectations and also show you step by step what you need to consider to build the right profile to potentially become successful here. So in case you do not know what Fiverr is, it is a freelance platform that you can join from more or less all countries and people from all over the world. A lot of people go here when they need a freelancer to do any kind of task more or less. You can see some of the services that you can offer here as a freelancer just within graphic and design. Look at all these here, digital marketing, writing and translations, all these here. Like it's basically no matter what type of skill you have, you can potentially offer your services here and then get paid to do these freelance jobs here. So that's just a short introduction to what it is in case you did not know. But the question is then, how do you become successful? Because it's easy enough to know that you can do this, but we need to talk a little bit more about the right approach to doing this. And then I will show you step by step how to set up a profile to build the best possible foundation. So to become successful on Fiverr as a freelancer and as a seller, as they call it here, where you can get paid to do work for other people that hire you, there are some things you need to consider because some people go into freelancing or into Fiverr thinking that they do not really need to make an effort. They can just like get paid for just doing like work they don't really know how to do or without making an effort and things like that. You have to think about there's a lot of competition here. There's a lot of freelancers. Some people make really good money here, like a really good full time income. And some people end up not getting any work. And that's because they do it with the right approach. They expect that they can just go in there and then make hundreds of dollars per day right away and not really make an effort to build it up. That's not how it works. You first of all need to be aware that this is not get rich quick. It takes some time to build up a good reputation. And once it starts rolling, you will get more and more clients because that's how it works. When you start building a good reputation, you get good reviews, more people see you, you can charge a higher price. Eventually you can even also apply to go into this Fiverr Pro, which will allow you to work with higher paying clients and get more exposure and all these things here. But it all starts from scratch and that's important that you are aware of so you do it with the right expectations. To then build it up, you need to be willing to go into it and offer quality work. So whatever you do, some works here do not necessarily require really big demanding skills or a lot of training because there's so many types of work people are looking for. Others will require you to have really good skills no matter what you offer. Of course, you need to make sure that you are good at what you are offering. And then when you get hired, you always need to make sure to do your best to provide quality work. You need to make sure also to communicate clearly. You can communicate with potential buyers. They can ask questions before. So make sure you reply them quickly, reply to all their potential questions, give good service overall. Just think about giving as great a buyer experience as possible because great buyer experiences will give repeated buyers. It will give you a good reputation, good rankings, good ratings here. And then eventually that will lead to great success. And that's the right approach. You need to do it here. You should not just expect to join and then publish one job and then make a full time income today or tomorrow. That's not how it works. It will take an effort. And the first step is to set up a profile correctly. So let me go over how to do that now step by step. So when you go to Fiverr, you first need to go to the seller section, meaning where you can sign up to become a seller, sign up to become a freelancer. I will leave a link below here also so you can go there directly. And if you just go to the website, you click here, it says become a seller, and then you can sign up here and it explains some more about it here, give some examples here. But I already have a profile there. So I'll just jump in now here and show you. I started from scratch, so I can show you from scratch how to set up a freelance profile there. 
So once you click to sign up and you have chosen whether you want to sign up with your Google account or create password and all these things here, you just have to go through the steps here. They also have some introduction videos that will give you some tips and tricks about how to do it here. So you just need to continue here. Some of these things here, also what I have made you aware of here, you need to do, and I'll show you also how to do that when you do it here. And there's some more information, you just click to continue here. And you can see, then you start building your profile here. And what is very important is that no matter what you go through here, add as much information as possible. Fill out everything you can, give details and all these. I'll go through what it means here. Right now, I'm just doing it like very superficially because I'm sitting here recording at the same time. It's just to explain it. This is not how you should do it. You should do it a lot more thoroughly than I'm doing. But you know, like your name here, do it, good description. This is you know, again, just a test description, but put in some time here to use this time, you can put up to 600 characters here. So, you know, make sure to write a proper description here, add the different languages you can, because some people might be looking for someone that does not know only know English, but also a lot of other languages are popular here. So this is the basic here, make sure to fill that out. And then here, of course, the next here, the professional info, you can see all the way here, how far you are here. It does not take a lot of time, but I would encourage you to take the time. Do not do this where you just have like five minutes to spare. Take you know, half an hour, an hour, whatever it takes to build a proper profile. Without that, your chances of success are really not great. So remember that and then take the time to choose the right categories here, write the skills here you can add. Again, I have just added quickly here to show you here. You can add education here. This is voluntarily. You can see the ones that have this little star here. You need to fill out the education. I would encourage you to do if you have any relevant, the same with certification. If you have personal websites, anything like that, make sure to add as much relevant information here as possible. And the next one here, you can link different accounts if you want to. This can again give you exposure. If you have social media, if you do not, then do not worry about it. But of course, if you do, then make sure to connect it. The last one here is just the account security here. So that's also just something you need to make sure to fill out here for security reasons. So you're sure that you cannot just get hacked and no one else will actually get access to your account here. So make sure to go through all that. This here does not take long. You then just need to set up an actually gig and that takes a little bit more effort to make sure that you do it probably to get better chances of succeeding here. So once you have created the profile, you'll be taken to the next step here, which is to create a gig. And it will tell you if you have not filled out the profile probably there. I had to do a few more things there because I just rushed through it to show you how it works. But you need to do at least what they call 65% of the profile there. But it will just tell you what to do if you do not. So I'm now through there. You just again take a little bit more time. You're not sitting there talking like I am here. And then here you can start your first gig here now. They do also offer some more information here to help you succeed. This can be worth looking into as well to make sure that you get as much information. This is not again, this is something you should take seriously if you want to build this up to potentially become really good extra income or maybe even a full time job, you need to take it seriously. So that's also why it can be good to go through some of the information the share here. But anyways, you need to just continue here because of course, you need to set up a gig to be able to earn it's not enough to just have a profile here. And when you click done there, you just get to this section here where you can start setting up your gig. I'll not go through it and, and fill it out because that will take like too long. It's more to understand the process. Again, they take you through everything step by step. What is important here is not the steps because that's very simple here. It is to do it again with the right approach here. It's not something you just need to get over and done with. You can create several gigs actually, but each of them you need to take serious. Think about someone is actually willing to pay you their money they have worked to get to help them do whatever you're offering to do there. So take that serious, that responsibility, and then you will also eventually end up becoming successful. So you first of all need to make sure that you give very clear explanations of what you are offering, both the title here without being too clickbaity there, be just very straightforward, explain everything here. Also choose the right categories here, use relevant search tags that people are searching for to find your services. And as they also say here, some 
categories require that you verify your skills, you will be told if that is the case, but make sure to fill everything out. The same here with the pricing when you get to the next section here. It's a good idea to give three different types of gigs, meaning three different price levels here, so people can see depending on how big a package they would want. That is one great way of also getting people to buy. You can offer one that's very cheap, for a low price there, and then a little bit higher the more you include. That's also one great way to make sure you get more gigs. And in general, what is a great way to get inspiration is also to go through the sellers here come here as a buyer and go through all the different services people are offering. You can see some of the ones that are the most popular. Look at their categories. What are they doing? What kind of pricing are they doing? They probably also fill out these description and FAQ. That's something I would definitely also encourage you to make sure to do. And of course, in proper English, if you're offering a job in English here, so people know that they can clearly communicate with you here. And when you set the pricing also here, do it reasonably. Also, do not expect that people, if you do not have any experience here, do not yet have any reviews here, that you can charge like huge prices or charge as much as some of the top sellers here require or charge. They work their way up to that. So start reasonably and look at what your competitors are offering as well and set your price according to that. And also here, when we then get to the next step here, again, no need for me to fill it out. It's more to get an overall understanding of how it works and what you need to be aware of. The requirements is what you need from the buyer to be able to get started. And you know, if it's graphic designs, maybe you would need them to give you certain colors or ideas they had or whatever. Make sure to again, give very clear explanations here of what you need from the buyer. And all this is just to go through it step by step, but take your time, do it properly, be realistic with your skills and your pricing, make sure to fill out everything carefully. And this is the key to success here. And then once you have that, that is the basic, you need that. And then you can also start applying for jobs here once you have a profile. But the first very important step to become successful here is to do this properly. If not, if you just rush through creating gigs here, you will not become successful. But if you take your time and remember, you can create several different types of gigs here if you have several skills or several things you want to sell here. So that's also a way to potentially get more clients. But when you get clients, remember, you do need to focus on helping them as much as possible, communicate clearly, focus on quality, that will give repeat buyers good ratings, more clients, and then it can snowball from there and potentially eventually give you a really good income. So as you can see, getting started as a seller on Fiverr is in itself not that difficult, but many people do it with the wrong approach and that is why they end up being frustrated because they do not get any jobs here. You do need to go through everything carefully, take your time to go through everything, be realistic about what it takes. You need to start slowly, small, build your way up. You will not just start getting hundreds of job offers on day one. That's just not how it works. But if you focus on quality, start slowly, go through some of the free training material Fiverr offers also and implement all that. Then slowly you will start to build up a reputation and it can all snowball from there. If you just keep focus on quality, focusing on just doing it with realistic expectation and being a little bit patient. But then you can end up earning really good money here. Some people are making really good full-time incomes on Fiverr also. It definitely is possible, but it's not something that will happen overnight and you need to be aware of that. But if you want to get started with Fiverr, I will leave a link below here directly to the sellers page where you can easily sign up and get started and then just go through creating the profile and start setting up your gig right away. Then go through some of the material they have that will teach you even more details about how to optimize it, play around with it, create several gigs, keep optimizing it, look at what other people are doing, optimize according to that. When you get clients, focus on quality, and then it will all build from there. But I hope this video here helped you. And if it did, then make sure to hit the like button. And also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out next time there's a video with tips and tricks about different ways to make some extra money on the side online.